Hey everyone and welcome back to another movie review. So last night I went out and saw my first film for 2014, Nonstop. So Nonstop stars Liam Neeson. It was directed by John Collette Serra, who directed um, Unknown a few years ago, which also starred Liam Neeson, and that was a pretty good film. So Nonstop is an action thriller film. Uh, Liam Neeson's character, Bill Marks, is an air marshal and he hates flying, but he's been on hundreds of flights and he's there pretty much just to protect the people and if anything goes wrong then he has to sort it out and stuff definitely goes wrong on his flight. So early on in the flight, uh, Liam Neeson's character starts getting these text messages from an unknown passenger on the plane and he's threatening to kill a passenger every 20 minutes unless $150 million dollars is um, sent to an offshore account. So it seems like a fairly simple basic terrorist attack at first but then um, things start to happen and it makes it look like um, Liam Neeson's character is the one hijacking the plane so the terrorists are trying to set this whole situation up so it looks like he is the one hijacking the plane not them. So every 20 minutes on this plane a mysterious death occurs and we never really see how it happens, we don't know who did it and Throughout the whole movie, you're pretty much looking at all these passengers on the plane. Everyone looks like they could possibly be a suspect, so you're trying to figure out in your own mind who these actual terrorists are. And by the end of the film, when it's revealed who they are, it's not really the ones you're thinking of, because there's other people that jump to mind first. So the people who are in contact with the plane down below think that Liam Neeson's character is hijacking the plane as well. There's video footage of him with a gun, and it looks like he's trying to hijack the plane. The money that's going into the offshore account is under his name, so the terrorists have made it look like he's the one who wants the 150 million dollars. So as is expected with a lot of Liam Neeson movies, you come to expect him with a gun and a lot of fist fights towards the end of the film and that it definitely delivers towards the end of this film. Uh, there's a lot of fight sequences and um, especially at the end of the film there's a really cool sequence in the plane and throughout the whole film you kind of get this claustrophobic closed in sort of feel because most of the film takes place in this plane and it's just like a small cabin packed in with lots and lots of people. Another thing that makes this film interesting is the passengers, um, the majority of the passengers believe that Liam Neeson is the hijacking the plane so they're against him for a lot of the film also which builds up a lot of tension. So Liam Neeson's definitely the biggest character in the film. Julianne Moore's also in the movie as a, one of the passengers and she's pretty good in the movie as well. Going into this film I'd seen a few reviews saying it was a pretty good film, not one of the best movies of the year but um, just a decent action thriller film so I was looking forward to it. I enjoy most of Liam Neeson's work. I really like Schindler's List and Taken and The Grey, so I was hoping that this would be another sort of really good action thriller film. And it was one of his better films. I'm not going to say it was as good as Taken or Schindler's List or The Grey, but it was better than... I thought, thought it was better than Unknown. I thought it was better than Taken 2, Wrath of the Titans, Clash of the Titans, Battleship, all those movies. So I thought it was one of his decent films. So there is a really big epic sequence at the end of the film that involves the plane coming down. And it's just... you've seen parts of it in the trailer. It looks really, really cool really intense and that's probably one of the best scenes in the film. I also like all the scenes leading up to finding who out the terrorist is, like getting all these anon anonymous text messages is interesting and just trying to figure out which passenger on board it is. So I enjoyed Nonstop, it was a decent movie and I'm going to recommend it to any Liam Neeson fan or just uh, someone who wants to see a good action film this summer. So as I said it wasn't one of the best movies, there was a lot of conveniences also in the film, situ situations where you think oh that's not really going to happen in real life but you can pass those things because the movie was just enjoyable and fun to watch. So I'm going to give Nonstop a solid B+. It was a good film, not quite good enough to get into the A category, but still a decent solid movie. So I'm going to recommend it to Liam Neeson fans because you'll probably like it. So thanks for watching my quick review of Nonstop, guys. I'll be back next week with an unboxing of Tom Hanks' new film Captain Phillips on Blu-ray. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel before, it'd be great if you could subscribe and check out some of my earlier videos. And I'll see you later. Bye.